Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example I'll be demonstrating something revolutionary in version 127 which is creating both Angular and Ember.js templates. Now you can actually do this with any JavaScript uh, theme engine but we're going to demonstrate uh, two of the most popular for this example. Now you'll see that we just have a blank PSD and two folders. One is our Angular templates and another is our Ember templates. Regardless of how you export, uh, you're going to have to actually do some cutting and pasting and this is likely because you already have your actual framework in place and you're most likely just adding components or new themes um, so what you'll have to do is after you export is basically just cut and paste the elements that you require so we're gonna compile basically uh, two different templates um, using our new class tags with version 127 so we're gonna start with ember now there are a few assumptions that we have and the first is that we have to assume that we have uh, basic controllers that are set up so you'll see in our demonstration here we have an angular controller this is just a basic person controller and we have in our scope our first name and our last name now in our app controller for our ember we actually have another first name and last name defined as well this is basically the scope of ember itself so if we go back to our PSD what we're gonna do is create templates for each now in ember what you tend to have to do is use your handlebars um, in your handlebars itself and Ember and Angular are very different systems, so you'll have to be familiar with each, but I'll try to explain them as quickly as I can. With Ember, what you'll have to do is actually basically transfer the content that you render in your document to your script tags. This is because the handlebars, they are often used within the script tags of your head element, uh, and this is within your HTML page. So you can download and search uh, many different samples and actual documentation of Ember, so I'm not going to go into too much detail of it. But I am going to create a few elements. So let's start off by adding a folder and script tags are only relative to folders. So we're going to add a handlebar for Ember. So what we want to do is we want to create a class tag. Now we're going to add script to this and we're going to give it some arguments. So the type and it's going to equal So what this will do is this will actually render now a uh, handlebar in the output itself. And again, you'll have to cut and paste this content simply because of the way that export it will render. This will be transferred to the body, whereas you might have your layouts within your head script itself, so you, or your head tag, I apologize. So what we're going to do now is, now that we have our actual script tag, we're going to now render the content of this. Now the next step that we want to do is we want to create a secondary container, and let's call this... Um, I guess my app so this is just a grouping and the next step we want to do is we want to create now another class within so with this class or actually you know what let's just do this with a text layer itself what we can do and export kit will now render your elements uh, directly as is but what you can do is use your ember templates to control the content of these elements so for instance uh, within our actual view let's call this text so what you can do now is rather than have this content, if we were to use our code tag, we can now manually add what the contents of this layer will be. Export Kit will translate this using the styles that you've denoted within the actual PSD itself. So for instance, let's say we want this to say hello and let's give it both elements. So first name and last name. Now you'll note off the bat that we can't actually see the entire content. So the fastest way to do this, and this is simply because we want this to keep within a margin, but let's make it a little bit larger just in case they have, a, I guess, a long first name and last name. Now I'm going to illustrate right after what you can do to edit this quickly. Simply, if you go back to your text editor, uh, let's actually just make a new file really quick you'll see that what we really want is first name and last name so what we can do is just cut and paste this right back into our text here and this will basically uh, translate the information that's within the text content itself so what this will do is this will create a default template for ember itself and it will basically render hello plus the first name and last name now if we go to angular and angular is slightly different 
for Angular and to explain it um, basically a little bit quickly as well but simply because there's a lot of information made available online what you can do now with Angular is a lot of the content is actually rendered within the body so Angular will be less cutting and pasting to transfer your actual template files but we're gonna create a dynamic controller for Angular itself so what we want to do is add another folder and let's give this a class tag as well so let's call this div and we don't have an app name assigned um, so we can actually add it but we don't really need to well, let's call it my app and let's also give it a controller now if you remember from our actual script file what we had is we had person controller so we can just cut and paste this now it has person controller now you do have to note that class tag oftentimes you will have a very long name and you are restricted to the length of your layer name in your PSD but it, export kit will translate it as is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another container again inside and this is just another grouping so this is our actual ember view our quick view of our first name and last name and we're gonna do the same for angular as well so in our my app what we want to do as well is we want to add another text layer so let's just draw this we want to give it a code tag and if you can't see your layer and you want to edit the contents you can simply just click the icon and Photoshop will actually select the text so we can do the same again hello and let's give it first name and last name now once we save this and we export this Uh, we can just give it relative positions it's not really going to change much uh, simply because we're using uh, the templates to actually position elements themselves so uh, what we're going to do now because we did do the my app what this will do is relatively position the, co the content of each text within that area so when you have your full design it, all elements will be placed where they should be but we're just basically creating two uh, random elements as is so what we're going to do now is there's not really much more that we need to configure we can just simply export once the export is complete what we want to do is take a look at the code files so if we go into our export folder and you'll see that we have our angular file this is a previous export that we did if we just take a look at the actual files themselves what you'll see now is we have our ember template and this is the div that we created along with our angular template now I did mention that you will have to do some cutting and pasting simply because of the way each system is configured on its own so if we look at the actual setup of our ember template you'll see that it did create the handlebar along with the required content for the div now this can be segmented any way that you feel um, and this is based Based on your actual preference and your design in your PSD but what export kit will do is it will maintain the CSS for each layer and you can actually add custom classes as well to give even more control but also add your individual template content per system so for instance in ember we have our handlebar and we have our actual uh, first name and last name now this is based again on our controllers that we have set up and if we take a look at our angular template you'll see that it created the appropriate div with the controller that we set up along with the content that we require now to create our actual template for angular so you'll see that it just uses uh, basically the scope of the information that we added which was the first name and last name so you can see now with export kit you can create dynamic templates uh, for either system be it angular or ember from photoshop using your own psd design and then have your developer basically now input the information that they require.